it will be best to understand from the people who understand it the best and that's of course the Indian Tea Association. Mr. Arjit Saha, the Secretary General from the company uh, is joining us to talk to us about what exactly is happening in the business. Mr. Raha, good to be speaking with you. Just wanted to understand this hike or uh, the spike that we have seen in the tea prices. What has led to that? Is it uh, just transient in nature or this is more structural increase coming in? Thank you for having me here. It's, it is definitely not structural. Uh, this change that you're seeing and the price improvements that are visible in the current fiscal are largely due to the shortfall in the production. Up to May, Indian production is down by about 18%. In fact, in the states of Assam and West Bengal, where 80% of the tea is produced, the shortfall in production is to the order of about 21 to 22%. So I think that is primarily the reason uh, why you're seeing prices and it's too early early days yet to really predict how the entire season would go because the production has just about started. So those concerns are coming in especially on the production front and you know they have just started you know just a point forward on that um, you know what our channel checks are also suggesting that the auction prices have increased in these centers like uh, Kochi and Assam. Um, Will we actually uh, see the realization? How is the realization going to be panning out from the export this time? And what is it that if we could get an understanding on that front as well? There are two distinct trends that are visible. One, in the few last few years, there's been a very conscious e effort made by the industry to improve quality. Now, when you improve quality, you go in for finer plucking, automatically the volume comes down, right? So th this is a continuous process of improvement that the industry is striving for. That is one, but that does not necessarily translate to better prices and uh, better realizations. Because as you know that tea as a commodity is in oversupply globally. The global oversupply is about 391 million as per the International Tea Committee reports and it would translate to about 70 to 80 million in India. So therefore, to say that, uh, I mean, there would be a trend of the prices holding on for the rest of the year is difficult to predict at this juncture, but we are hopeful that the prices should hold. And if we can make up some of the lost production, then maybe the realizations would not be as bad as it was last year. Taken, but just wanted to get a sense of late the government has been doing a lot in terms of regulating the prices whether it was sugar and that's also on account of the inflation that we had seen given all of this uh, do you have any specific uh, you know wish list from the budget this year is there any specific ask that the tea association is putting forward to the government well we are hoping see climate change has been one of the major issues that has affected the industry and we are hoping there would be larger outlays on climate change interventions. Uh, the irrigation schemes, the soil res uh, restoration schemes of the government of India, there is a large budget. Uh, we are hopeful that these would get extended to the tea sector, which is primarily an agro-based sector. And that would definitely have a long-term positive effect on the sustainability of the industry. That apart, since we were talking about surplus, I think the, the way to deal with surplus really in the short run is to try to export more. And uh, we are hopeful that we the embedded tax rate, which for the tea industry as far as rot tip is concerned, is to the order of about 5%. We are actually getting about 1.7% now. So we are hoping that there would be some positive annou announcements on that score. Uh, keeping the fingers crossed for that. Let's see what actually comes out. Thanks so much for making time and speaking with us today. In the if you like this video, then like, share, and subscribe to ET Now.